fucking hate the Smart News app. Piece of shit ass fucking app. They try to do some thing recently where they pretend like they're going to show you both sides of like the political spectrum, but it's still slanted, dude. When you land on their fucking front page, they want to show you all their stupid liberal fucking propaganda. Anyway, fuck all that shit, man. So there's this article. Man, I just had this shit up on the goddamn fucking screen. Just had this shit on the screen. Hold up, man. Let me let me go here. Alright, so um man, hold the fuck on, dude. Uh, who gives a shit about Hunter Biden and his stupid fucking dad? They're both douchebags. It's not what I'm looking for. Where did I see this news article, man? Uh, hold up, man. I took a screenshot of it. So, if y'all have a little bit of patience here, just bear with me. Bear fucking with me. Man, I had this shit ready to go and everything. Um, this shit was ready to fucking goddamn go. Okay. God fucking damn it. All right, let me see. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, but what is the source of this shit? Okay, that's the theory of everything. Oh, by the way, man, I've been, uh, just watch this video from the uh, Royal Institute. And, uh, the Royal Institution videos are really interesting, man. There was a, uh, <clears throat> PhD on there talking about uh, quantum reality and CERN and what everything is made of right here. Quantum fields, the real building blocks of the universe with David Tong. Um, and it shows the new particle table and it shows two, four, yeah, 12, 12 different fields of, uh, 12 different fields of reality. Um, what the uh, universe consists of, as far as, as far as the uh, science community believes currently, but okay, hold on. Let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Let me open this other device here, because this is fucking stupid. These computers sometimes, man, are fucking way corny, dude. They do a hell of stupid, corny fucking shit. All right, so no, uh, that's traversability, ring singularity. We were talking about that last night. I want to get to this. What is what is this? Bear with me. Um, sorry. Okay. Because I want to quote this source correctly. So let me type it. The quote. Quote the. Uh, okay. To the star. Academy of Sciences to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science News Alright, here we go Popular Mechanics The Army and a UF group UFO group are investigating by uh, Kyle Miza, Mizokami by Kyle Mizokami and it says here Quote, to the STARS Academy of Arts and Science, the organization led by former Blink-182 member Tom DeLonge will work with the Army to characterize technology under the organization's control and then use the tech to improve military vehicles. So check this out, man. I don't know if you all know this. But now that the U.S. military has admitted that UFOs uh, and ETs are real, now they want to know what the public knows. Remember before, like before they let the cat out the bag? Remember how it was like we were all conspiracy theorists and we were all wacky and we were all fucking in the fringe, right? Uh, on the fringe uh, of society, the fray. We were just the stupid fucking people, right? You know, with the tinfoil hat supposedly. And then the military admits that we were correct and right all along. So actually we're the smart fucking people in society that knew the truth the whole fucking time 
while our government tried to frame us as being fucking stupid people, but we were really ahead of the curve of mainstream society the whole fucking time. So apparently, as you just heard, the launch from uh, formerly of, I guess formerly, I thought he would, I don't know, like the current status of the group, he's out UFO hunting. And apparently he got his hands on some technology, man, from a downed craft or a craft that had been somewhere, some site, something. And the military has confirmed that he, with this UFO research group, they have their hands, man, on on actual alien technology. <laughs> and so the U.S. government, man, the federal government, military, uh, is working with him and other groups that have recovered material. I'm talking private sector groups, man. People that are out UFO hunting because there are so many UFOs, the military can't get to each and every single site. Like every, like I saw a UFO in the state of Washington and I've talked about it, but that was a surveillance drone of some type of alien extraterrestrial origin because they were orbs. And I know it's not something that our military created and it was able to cloak itself and then it uncloaked itself um, and showed itself to me at some point. And I've talked about that before. And I know that what I saw is not something that was created by our government or our earth um, terrestrial um, humans, it was, <laughs> it's something from some other fucking star system, some other planet. It's not from earth. So you have so many people like me who have seen these things and the military government can't get to each and every one of them. And so people have these, these, uh, alien materials that have like fallen off crafts or they've been left or whatever the case may be. Well, Blink-182, mem- former member, um, he has some of this stuff, and the military says, yes, it is of an extraterrestrial origin. And now the military is working with his group, man, to utilize that technology for, for military hardware. And who knows what else, man? Isn't, isn't that crazy?